stars as the profiler each Saturday night right here on NBC. Let's take a look. All of his letters talk about inner peace cleansing from within. Grace, will an overdose of iodine cause liver damage? Oh, yeah. I found iodine tablets by his bed. He was using them to purify his water. It's the water. To cleanse, to purify. Water supplies the power plant. It's also regulated by the government. Please welcome Allie Walker. Thanks so much for coming. Well, thank you for having me. I love the title of, uh, of your show, The Profiler. <laughs> Profiler. And the show just before, it's called The Pre What is it? The Pretender? The Pretender. Okay. All right. There's like, I love those, like, those, the you know, like. The percolator. The percolator. The laminator. <laughs> <laughs> he laminates library cards. <laughs> <laughs> this card wasn't laminated before, but now it has a thick plastic coating that makes it more stain resistant. Thank you, laminator. I'll be back. It's just a lot of fun that way. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I go no, out no, no. Well, tell us what the show is about because it's a very interesting premise. Well, it's about uh, my character. Her name is Dr. Sam Waters. And there are actually people on this planet who are profilers. And they work for the FBI and they're at Quantico. And uh, they, they are usually um, behavioral psychologists who go in and they go into crime scenes and look at all the forensic evidence and physical evidence and kind of take it to a different level. They figure out all they can about the victim. And if they get to know the victim really well, they can figure out. The, oh, it's like a psychological killer. profile. Yes, like yeah. the guy who did this was a real right, 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 nut. Right, right, right. He was the kind of, he was, he was violent, <laughs> and he's a murderer. Right, right. He and killed. Yeah, you should watch out for him if you see him someplace, and he's got a knife. Well, folks, where's my check? You know, <laughs> pass it over. Oh no. No, Actually, I know what you mean. It's really I'm... fascinating though yeah. because they take these little tiny clues and they can figure out like what this person weighs and like you know where he might live and all these well, things. Well, especially, especially now. Yeah, no, they they. I mean, whenever you read about it, when they're looking for serial killers and stuff, yeah. they can find out amazing things. Like yeah. based on a little thread, they can yeah. say he's six four, he's and got red right. hair, he's a talk <laughs> right, show right. host. Get him. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> That's just an um, example. Uh, oh, Andy. Now, <laughs> now before, it's very, oh. your, your, your story is very fascinating because your personal story, because you were actually kind of a scientist in real life, yeah. and yeah. then you suddenly got into acting and you've had all this success. Yeah. How did you get that first big break as an actor? How did you get discovered? Well, it was, it was kind of weird. I was, um, I was actually coming down to Los Angeles to visit my boyfriend and to apply to UCLA Med School. And I was in a restaurant in Sherman Oaks, which is in the valley, and I was sitting there having dinner with my boyfriend, and we were laughing and talking about something, and a producer came over to me and asked me, he, he said, you know, you're very funny, and you have this great way, whatever, yada, yada, yada. He asked me if I wanted to audition for a part in this film he was doing, and I, th I thought he was like a weirdo, you know, I was just like, no, you it's know. Not, I, I would think, you know, that's like such a line in I L.A., know, a guy I coming know, up and saying, I, know, I couldn't exactly. but help notice your oh, laugh. How wonderful it's, you are. Maybe yeah. you'd come back to my apartment, <laughs> and I'll show you uh, <laughs> some videos of films <laughs> I've done. You know what I mean? It's such a thing in L.A. That's what you're laughing. But in L.A., I used to try that all the time on women. <laughs> I'd go up to them and I couldn't help but notice your laugh. I wasn't laughing, creep. Oh, oh that must have been it. <laughs> I'll walk away. <laughs> but, a little insight no, into my life. No, no. But it well, actually I mean, did your boyfriend actually think my this guy's hitting knew, on you? Or my something? boyfriend knew the guy. He was an actual producer, and it was an actual film. It was with Chris Makepeace and Tia Carrera. Oh, okay. And um, I got the part, and subsequently ended up on the cutting room floor. But I, I got my SAG card. And yeah. Started working. You got in the door, which is the yeah, important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you were in uh, you were in movies with Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Van Damme. Does he make you say it all at once, Jean Claude Van Damme? <laughs> or does he allow you to have? Because most he allows people. Allows the pauses. There's he a hyphen the there. Now. Thank you okay. very much. Yeah. All right. And uh, who's the other one? The other action hero that you were, Dolph Lundgren. Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren, and I yeah. just worked with Shaq, so I get a lot of big action Yeah, you're guys, working with you know? these, uh, these ah, That's right. Did now. you have, have you had Very physical scenes? If you're in a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, I can fight, yes. You have to, you actually have to, uh, you know, like, kickbox. like probably kickbox you have to kickbox or something. Box. There, there were several kickboxing scenes in the film. No, no, there were I didn't have to really? fight. Did no. you ever, so you didn't get hurt making any of these movies? Well, actually, there was, no, that's not true. I actually cracked my rib, but the, there was a scene where something's exploding or something, and I'm getting thrown or something, and Dolph is supposed to throw me, like, sort of, out of the way or something, and, and we kept we kept rehearsing. In the rehearsals, it was fine. I sort of threw myself. You know, you do these fake little mm -hmm. like lunges, like oh, there's the car, and um, <laughs> you know. You say and, that and, as and you're soaring yeah, through the exactly. air. Exactly. It's like don't hit the car. And uh -huh. so, and Dolph is helping me. You know, he's doing an acting, propelling me. And and when it came time to like rolling, 
and we do it, it's like dolphins like throwing me. I'm like jumping and hurling. Wow. And so I hit the car and, and see, cracked my rib. See, I would demand, at that point, I would say, okay, there's a scene where Dolph Lundgren's supposed to beat the crap out of me. I'd say, why can't we just, just as we get to that scene, I'll step Cut. out and put like a, a broom with like a bucket on top of it there. <laughs> put some freckles on it and just, you know, hit that and hope no one notices. You use a stunt oh double or God. something. Oh, my God. I'm dying. Well, I wish they would have at this point, at that point, because All I had right. cracked my rib, but... I didn't think of it. So, uh, yeah. Well, just be safe. That's the important Thank thing. Thank you. That's why I Save like this job. Yes. Maybe and I sit here and just we calcify over the years. Yeah, we're turning to stone. <laughs> All right, profiler. Do you like it with the way I say it? Yes, I love the way you say it. Profilers. One profiler. more time. Saturdays at 10 on NBC. You should check it out. Very interesting. Allie Walker, it was really nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks Thank for you coming very to the show. Much. Allie Walker, everybody. We'll take a break. When we come back, Weston Root will perform.